Yeah, I mean, look, you think you're too much into this, all right? No, I, I don't think so. Listen, they don't know nothing. This is, they're never gonna figure it out. You just, you just go out there and, and you do, you follow through like I told you, the whole, the whole deal. It's what's best. It's what's best for the company. It's what's best for you. It's what's best for me. It's, it's, it's what's just gotta be done. You know? But, well, I, I, I don't think so. Listen, they couldn't, they couldn't tell you if the other side of the coin was ahead. You know what I mean? All right. Well, look, stick to the plan, and we'll be all right. All right. That's right. That's right. So this is. All right. One more time. We'll lay it out. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out there. I'm gonna take my pants off. <laughs> Outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Can you, can you, can and you, since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Can I get a fuck you to the bitches from all of my niggas who don't love hoes? They get no dough. Can I get a to these niggas from all of my bitches who don't love hoes? gentlemen, welcome to this very special holiday edition of FHB Tonight! Now we have some very exciting things going on in the world of FHB, baby! Last week, there was some nonsense that went down involving the Boner Club. Business as usual, as I like to say. I've never actually said that, but from now on it's something I'm gonna like saying a lot. What was I saying? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, we're gonna we're gonna try to get things back squared away. As as everybody already knows, it's a fair gone conclusion. Goody is the FHB champion, and th there's been lots of whining and complaining from Jeff Bomber, from Mitch Bitch, Nile Bradbury Mitchell. That, that what went down wasn't fair. So here's what we're gonna do. In the interest of fairness, all the top FHB superstars and th th those boner club morons. They're all going to com compete tonight in a Beat the Clock Challenge, baby. And the winner of this Beat the Clock Challenge is going to be the number one contender for Goody's Heavyweight Championship. And the match for the heavyweight belt will be at the Royal Trumple. <laughs> I can't wait! Merry Christmas, you son of a bitch! Merry Christmas! Happy Hanukkah! Have a good Kwanzaa! Dick McFly, how the hell are you? I'm doing just swell, Marty Magic. I can't. I'm so excited for this beat the clock challenge. Sir Farnalot, he's gonna. He's already at ringside. He's gonna watch the whole thing. He is a great boss. I love working for him. He's so unpredictable. So generous. How about that Christmas bonus? What bonus? Well, maybe it was just a boner. <laughs> well, speaking, well, speaking of, of boners. <laughs> Mitch Pitch, you know, in the uh, in the State of the Union address, we'll call it, by Sir Fardala, he said all three members of the Boner Club are going to get chances to compete against the top three uh, superstars or wrestlers, or whatever we call them, in the FHP. Mitch Pitch happens to draw the first straw. I can only imagine who his opponent's going to be. He says it was going to be top of three of the top superstars the FHP has to offer. That could be anybody. It could be uh, Diamond Dave Rogers, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the Dorchester Boys. I don't know. Yikes. Could be anybody. I guess we'll find out momentarily. Last week, the Ripper sent me to the emergency room, courtesy of a flaming table. Now, the doctors haven't medically cleared me to compete tonight, but I don't give a damn what the doctors have to say. Now, I can only hope that Sir Farts a lot considers the Ripper to be one of the top six competitors in the FHB. Because I would love to get my hands on him again. And Ripper, I hope you have some form of American insurance. Because you're going to need it. The next time I get my hands on you, brother. And uh, thank God Mitch Bitch didn't suffer any uh, extreme injuries. He's able to uh, compete tonight. Oh! oh it, it is, is the, the Ripper! It's the Ripper! My goodness! Fresh from the foggy streets of London. The Ripper. Danny B. Now, if you're, uh, if you're Mitch Bitch, you just got out of a grueling match last week where he put
put you through that flaming table like you, you talked about earlier. This is not the guy you want to see this week, or is it? I, I gotta... There's no way he wants to see... Nobody wants to see this guy, especially down a dark alley in the, in the middle of the night. But uh, I can't get behind this Marty Magic. Uh, the Boner Club, for all the wrongs that they've done, they've never let somebody have put them through through flames. Not on television, anyway. So, I mean, it's, it's Sir Fart a lot. You know, he's trying to punish the Boner Club by, by putting Mitch Bitch up against the Ripper. But the Ripper... He's worse than Mitch Bitch! Do you think so? I never thought there'd be a day where I thought anything was worse than the Boner Club. But he, he tried to he tried to kill him! That was... There was an investigation for attempted uh, murder on the Ripper's... Well, we'll see you later. <laughs> We're 52 seconds into this Beat the Clock Challenge. Jesus. The Ripper and Mitch Bitch. No urgency on the parts of either one of these competitors right now. It's just like they just want to beat each other. Look at this. Unbelievable. The, the, the thing here is you, you want to... Uh, what do you want to do? Mitch Bitch must be conflicted because you want to get revenge for that, that attack last week. The, the, the flaming table. But you want to win this quickly as well and get a number one title. Blah, 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 blah. blah. I got gotcha. you, but I gotta, I gotta tell you, you can't. Mitch Mitch cannot be 100% after the beating he took last week. No, absolutely. Uh, Sir Fartalat said that he wants to give them a fair shot. Well, nothing's fair about that. No, there's nothing fair here. Ripper, it looks like he's gonna try to win this one. No, a strong kick out from Mitch Mitch. Unbelievable. Now, the Ripper, it's gonna work the the knee over. It looks like, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, the, the funny thing about the Ripper is, is, is demonic or as almost psychotic as he may seem, he's actually very well spoken. He's he's intellectual, and now he's gonna kind of systematically break down Mitch Bitch here. You saw him work over the leg. He was cranking on the neck. Now he's gonna slam him with uh, almost like a inverted pedigree type power bomb maneuver. Oh my goodness, Marty, we've seen this. This is that that that. Flying knee to the to the bush <laughs> to that uh, what's that 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 thing that hangs in you you kiss underneath it at Christmas? Oh. <laughs> and Mitch bitch is setting him up for the bitch slap. slap. That's oh. gonna be it. That's gonna be it. Incredible. <laughs> he's and he's, wow. he's not going for the pin. This is unbelievable. See, this yeah. Mitch bitch's head is not on straight right now. He's not focusing on that title. He's focusing yep. on. Getting revenge on the Ripper. Yep, and that's and that's always been on the front of every Boner Club member's mind is revenge. It's yeah. never about that title, is it? Absolutely. They, they they want the title. That's all they talk about is the title. But they, they always get caught up, like you said, uh, you know, chasing down some revenge scheme. Now the Ripper's got the right idea. He goes for the pin and he kicks out. And now there's fists flying. Fist of cuffs. Kicks being blocked. Unbelievable. Kicks being rolled out from underneath of... Kicks to the tummy, drop kicks being deflected, Unbelievable. and just men. And just men, men, men. men. Oh, men, 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 men. Oh, men, 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 men. Hey. You know, we were talking about revenge. The Bone Club's always, you know, getting distracted from their own goals. Nothing more so than in the case of Sir Fartala and Jeff Bomber. Jeff Bomber's whole career, it seems like, it, it, it's turning into this 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 thing with Sir Fartala. This, this crazy mission to... To take him down. And that's not what the... You should be trying to hey, get the gold. Sir, Dick, hey, Sir Fartalot was over here sitting next to us. He just got out of his seat. What's he now doing? he's grabbing a chair. Do you think he's taking one back to the to the back? Maybe he's had enough. There? Maybe, Maybe he's, he wants a closer view. You know, if he wants to hit the gorilla position, he's going to take that chair back there. And, hey! He just threw the chair into the ring! He threw it right to the ripper! The ripper got it! What is, no! Hey! The ref's standing right there! What ring, is... Ring the bell! Ring the bell! This is a disqualification! Sir Fartalot, what are you doing?! Are you kidding me? He what is the, this? He threw the chair right to the Ripper. The ref's watching the whole thing. Do you think that's who he was talking on the phone with earlier tonight? Oh, Jesus Christ. This is his birthday today. Wait a minute. We got a pin. One, two. That's it. Good Lord. It's his birthday today. 
and the Ripper beat the clock time. Is it four minutes and 30 seconds? That's the number one contender right now. That's gonna be hard to beat, Dick. Woo! Hey. We're back. And here comes the Jeff Bomber. Oh my goodness, what is this? Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. What is this theme music? I can tell you exactly what this theme music is. We've licensed it from N Zero. Ooh, big time. We are big time. FHB is just growing leaps and bounds by the week. We're sponsored from having, uh, you know, the, the beard oil, that, that snake oil. <laughs> What's that? Facebook.com slash Haddon Light. Now we, we struck a deal with N Zero, you, you know, Jeff Bomber's new theme music. We're just, we're just blowing up. I can't believe that this um, man got Martin Luther King to sing on it. <laughs> blowing up like a bomb in your pants. <laughs> now, Marty Magic, I want to know, who is the Jeff Bomber's opponent going to be in this behind piece? the curtain? Yeah. So I feel like Dorothy is waiting to find out. Sir Fartaline, Jeff Bomber, with a storied feud. And you know he's going to... Got something up his sleeve for the Jeff Bomber. Imagine if it was not Bradbury Mitchell the first. Oh my God! Can you? But I can't even imagine. Who's it gonna be? You know it's gonna be somebody, yeah, uh, a real monster. It's not gonna be a powder puff like the divorce. Like Phil Brooks. Oh, it's Cody's team! Oh no! It's Cody, the FHB champion. What is going on, the FHB champ? This, this. This isn't right, Marty. This, if Goody wins, he's gonna be the number one contender to him, to himself. The hell is that? I've been the number one contender to myself once before. <laughs> beat, and, beat, uh, I thought you beating yourself. Once. I beat the clock. Is it right? He beat the clock. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, Sir Farlock does not like the Jeff Bomber when he does things like this. Oh my God. This. Although, I although it should be said, now that, now that, that uh. Bradley's not here to combat us. Yeah. Jeff Bomber did beat Goody last week for the title. You're right. You're right. But but you got to look at it this way, Marty Magic. Jeff Bomber beat Goody. I know we're not even supposed to talk about it, but I don't like the way things are looking here, and I'm going to talk about it. Talk about it, brother. Jeff Bomber beat Goody last week. Preach to me! And now Sir Fartalot has him facing the, uh, Goody a second time. If Jeff Bomber, by some grace of God, whose Jeff birthday is today... <laughs> He's a, he, he would beat him a second time right now to become the number one contender. And then what would happen? He has to face Goody a third time in order to win the belt. This is, it's never going to happen. Sir Farlock, can you hear me? What happens if Goody wins? He ain't saying anything. He's a tight-lipped son of a, you know what. I mean, I, I Meanwhile, know. Goody is taking it to Jeff Bomber early. And I'm not surprised. Jeff Bomber slides out of the ring. That's some veteran savvy right yeah, there. That's the smart. It's the only the only bright thing he ever does when he wrestles Goody, is just try to run the other way. It looks like. Well. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got. Oh. We got a. Stay away from this. We got a problem here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Sir Farlock taking the high road. Gotta that, respect that. That's absolutely. He's he's the owner of our company, and he's not gonna get involved in. in hey, what the hell's he he's doing? He's grabbing a chair too. You know, this is unprofessional. He's looking right up the sky with Goody. We've had problems with the Boner Club, just like everybody else. But this is this is Sir Fartalod. You're supposed to be a, a man of the people, and you're supposed to be professional and represent this company with some sort of respect, have some dignity. What is going on tonight? He threw the chair. At the oh my for God! Him. He threw a rated Goody, but Jeff Bomber. Is Clive, what is he doing, getting involved he's over here? Flying elbow. Oh, oh God! A he cheap just shot. Jeff Bomber in the face. Sir Farlock just jabbed. Goody grabbed the chair. He, oh. Cheap shot, and that was chair shot to the face. Good night, Irene. That's it. Goody is oh. the number one contender for his own title. Yeah, this is this is 137. Who's gonna beat that? Oh, nobody's beating a, a minute 37. You got two. You got Nile versus another top FHB superstar. Goody's gonna have the night off at the Trumple! I gotta tell ya! Tonight's a big night for yours truly, Niall Bradbury Mitchell the First. You see, it's sweater weather, which is always a great time, and it's the holiday season. And I've been in such a great holiday mood that I've been giving presents away, like the Northeast Championship. But it's time to get back on that horse, 
and starting with this beat the clock challenge, I'm gonna turn things around. Now I've been told a lot in my life that I've been quick to finish and that's exactly what I'm gonna do in the beat the clock challenge. And let's do it right now! <laughs> <laughs> and here comes Niall Bradbury Mitchell. Oh my the gosh. First. We, we, the episode opened tonight, ladies and gentlemen, on the holiest night of them all, with Sir Farn a lot, hatching some sort of plan, it sounded like he was on the phone, and, uh... Dick, can I throw something out there? Absolutely. And it won't be your dick? Oh, no, why not? Do you think he was on the phone with Goody? I think he was on the phone with with the referee, to tell you the truth, Marty. I, it, but then it could have been Goody. It, he, what I mean, did he... It seems like an easy, an, an easy scenario right there for Goody to just walk in, yes, yes, beat that yes, opponent, yep. and make sure that he yep. beat that. I mean, 137. He, he said, yeah, nobody's beating 130. He said that that the plan would that to follow it would result in uh, what's best for the FHB. And after last week, when Jeff Bomber almost took that FHB championship, you know it, it put Sir Fardell into a tailspin, and now he's locking things down. He's gonna have Goody keep that belt right through the pay-per-view. And that's bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm, this is especially on the, on Christmas. I shouldn't be speaking like this, but we are, we're fans of, of good competition and religion and, and religion and so far a lot. He, he's he's been so blinded by this his hatred for the Boner Club that he's just he's horrible now. Can I get a to these niggas from all of my bitches? You don't want them to see you too much, but then you... But when they see you too much... Oops! Oh! Tell everyone everything. Hello, who? Hello, this guys. is Christmas. This is Christmas Kovacs. Christmas time. Christmas time. We're talking about the tree this in the back. Kovacs. Look at that shit. The stars are bright. Hello, bright stars. It's bright stars. We're going to do it for you right here. We want to do this for you right here. We want you guys here. to be so happy okay. with us. We're, We're coming, coming home for the holidays. holidays. It's a lot different nowadays. We really miss our younger days. I guess we grew out of that phase. Oh, yeah, we grew out of it. Decisions that we made, love that we lost, how we're better off. My parents all alone, the kids have all gone. How do they move on, Cove? Yo! How do they move on, Cove? Cove! How do they move on, Cove? Cove! How do they move on, Cove? Cove! How do they move on, Cove? Whoa, 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 wait, wait. We're coming home for the holidays. It's a lot different nowadays. We really miss our younger days. Oh, we miss them. I guess we grew out of that phase. And we grew out of that phase, kid. Kovacs is going to tell you what you need to know today, kid. Yo, about today. I see my mom and dad. They're not sad. They're happy. I feel like I need a beer. Snappy. IPAs and whiskey. That's what we drink. Maybe some red wine when I need to think. Sit by the fire when I need to relax. Have some more wine and have some snacks. I gotta worry about others though. My sisters and my little bro. And his little bro, his bro's name is Joe. Joe, Joe his little Joe. bro. Little bro Joe. Joe. Low Joe. his little bro, little bro Joe. 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 Little bro Joe. Little bro Joe. Joe. Little bro Joe. Joe. Hey, hey yo. Hey yo. Marty Magic. We had some time over that commercial break right there. We heard from the, the tag champs, the Dorchester boys. I've pulled Little down. Joe. I, I previously led, said before we went to break that uh, Sir Fartalot is horrible now. I need to apologize. That's the owner of our company. I was I was heated. I got a little hot there. And uh, I said something out of line, and I apologize. Did you hear that, Sir Fartalot? <laughs> He's not horrible. But he really is. Well, 137 is now the leader in the clubhouse, Goody, and what a main event matchup we have for you tonight. You Kyle Bradbury, and he's going for a roll up right off the bat. He he's gonna try to win this in 10 seconds or less. One, two, three. No, oh, no. Oh wow. my God, I thought he had it in 10 seconds. Kyle Bradbury Mitchell, the first, might be the smartest competitor in this. Yeah. Uh, beat the clock challenge because he went for the victory right away. You're absolutely right. You know. It, it's very unlikely, but imagine if Matty Ice takes this in under a minute 37, we'll get a rematch from, oh, uh, from the Eye of the, the Tiger series. Epic Eye of the Tiger main event. Matty Ice lost his belt, and uh, you know he wants another crack Superman's at it. Superman's looking to fly. Look out! Whoa! Oh, what a reversal. NBM1 with a beautiful power Matt. slam. Oh! Oh, look at that. Spe spe he's going up! 
Sweet! Oh, oh, holy shit! Oh my goodness! A spear from Matty Ice! These he, two! He took him out of the sky, Marty! These two knew that they had to be aggressive right off the bat, and they are being aggressive right be off the bat. Aggressive. Be, be, be aggressive. aggressive. They got a mirror. Oh, it's already a minute five, though. 30 seconds left. You got to get a pin in 30, 20 seconds here. Yeah, Matty happen. Ice is looking to roll him over for the pin. That might be it after that spin. Oh, I can do it. One. He took oh. his. Somebody took their booby out. Whoa. Look at this. There's, so far, lot has got a chair again. He's got the chair. He's Put that chair. away. Unbelievable. He's going to slam it on not. He threw oh, it my God. He threw it. Let's go. Oh, oh Jesus. No. He's got a minute 30 so more. What are you so doing? So far, you idiot. One, thirty-five, seven, six, he did it, he did it, I can't believe it, I, it's, the, oh, but the boater club, this, they just stuck it in Sir Farnalot's face, they took their dicks right out of his face, <laughs> I can't, I, I, I'm almost excited, I know, I, I know I shouldn't be Marty, but, the, fuck that, <laughs>